guys, my name is Sarah Fithian, and today we're on board a 2004 Grand Banks 46 Europa. I'm going to be giving you a tour of this fantastic model today. She is available for sale. It is May 2021. So um, contact us if it's around that date and you're interested in purchasing her. Otherwise, um, please contact us anyways. We can always find you something available on the market now, whether that's a Grand Banks, East Bay, Palm Beach, or another long range cruiser or trawler of your choice. So um, yeah, let's go on inside. Uh, I'll show you the interior first and then we'll get the exterior and some uh, deck views here and I'll uh, voice over probably um, what you're seeing and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get started. Enter the salon through the sliding teak and glass doors. There's a beautiful teak table. It's high and low settings for dining or cocktail height. There's a L settee here to the port side, a beautiful white ultra leather fabric. So looking to the starboard side, this owner currently just has two stools here where you could easily put a settee or two barrel chairs. Here's the sliding glass door to the cockpit that has two glass panels and easily latches and locks here. There's a screen for mosquitoes and, you know, just keeping out the, <laughs> the mosquitoes mainly. So looking back, you can see here at the top under this valence is a uh, privacy shade, an accordion shade. So it's easy enough just to press this button and pull it all the way down. It does go the full length of the whole back door here. This is also great for keeping the sun out of the interior as well and damaging the wood uh, faster. So just hides right back up here underneath this valence. You can barely see it when it is up. Here's a TV in the starboard aft corner. There's also shades on all of the salon and forward windows, the same accordion style, just like this to protect and preserve the interior of wood. Looking forward now to the galley on the port side and the lower helm on the starboard side. Right here we have a U-line ice maker. And above that we have a cabinet just for storage or miscellaneous items maybe a catch-all spot for you everything is beautiful bright teak high varnish looks awesome right here is an extra little refrigerator aside from the one in the galley uh, if we turn around right here to the port side on just the edge of the galley countertop there is a nice spot for glass storage. You can hang some wine glasses there and have um, stable cups underway. So traveling into the galley, we'll get a good look from the starboard side over here looking port. Um, it's a nice U-shaped galley, lots of counter space as you can see here. This is the refrigerator. I believe they call it a Coolmatic refrigerator. We also have a freezer right here of the same brand. Nice deep freezer. Up here we have two cabinets for pantry storage. Looking outboard, we have a nice sink cover here. So you can use it as counter space and a, uh, actually a cooking cutting board underneath. Here is the stove top. It actually has been changed to electric, but it was originally gas, so it has some you know, safety information on the top of the lid there. Here are uh, utensil storage or just miscellaneous storage, but I would you know, store your silverware and your serveware and um, other items of that sort in these. It's a really good use of space because normally this is just dead space to give headroom for the uh, stateroom down below. So. That's a great feature. So down below here on the below the countertop is a uh, convection microwave GE. There's a dishwasher and a specific trash storage underneath the sink and some other storage drawers. So looking over to the starboard side is the lower helm. We have a bench seat just above the refrigerator, good distance away from the beautiful teak uh, traditional Grand Banks uh, steering wheel. Here you also have your gauges, controls for the engines, bow thruster, 
AIES that's included in the Garmin touchscreens. These are 7612 chart plotters, new in 2016. There's radar, uh, a wind transducer system. There's also KVH on this boat as well, which is awesome, and NIAD stabilizers, which is a huge selling feature and gives, gives great stability for, uh, for this 46 year old buff. Right here is your um, just main panel for your AC and DC electric outlets, lights, all sorts of things there that are important. Um, so let's head down the stairs and go down below. Let's stop here first though. This is a little uh, pantry cabinet. There's just a little latch behind this door here and then it opens up and there's a couple shelves in there for good pantry items. So going into the uh, port side stateroom, it has twin berths side by side. They are a good length and comfortable for any average size adult or uh, ch child. Across the companion way is the guest or day head. The beautiful Teak and Holly soles carried throughout. There's a porthole for natural light and a stall shower behind the door. So moving forward here into the master stateroom, there's a good queen size center line berth with storage drawers underneath. That beautiful teak and holly soles also carried throughout up here as well. Uh, to the starboard side, we have a large walk-in almost closet uh, that is cedar lined, nice hanging rack, and yep, that's a great space for onboard items while cruising. There's four portholes throughout. There's reading lamps, overhead hatch teak planked sides and just a high gloss interior here as well which is just beautiful. There's uh, cabinets and drawers here for storage and then here's your um, end suite head. There I am in the mirror. Sorry about that. Hello. <laughs> um, yes, this is the master stateroom head so it's a good size. There's some storage there. Um, sink, stainless steel faucet, storage below, teak and holly sole, the head, and the stall shower. Awesome. Let's be back up out of that going forward, looking aft in the master stateroom. They have a small TV and, yep, just giving you a panoramic view here. Reading lamps, overhead LED lights, some bookshelf storage, and kind of a desk area there too. All right, so let's head back up and go out, and I will show you guys the exterior decks and then take a look from the dock. <music> Okay, walking up these side decks here, we have a non-skid surface. We have cap rails that are teak and varnished. Looks beautiful. This is the anchor windlass. We have a dual system here on this anchor platform. There's a freshwater wash down hose there as well. The hatch for the Ford Master Stateroom. Now we're looking back aft the boat here, the cabin top, the enclosure on the flybridge, rocking back along the starboard side, really high gunnel here and railing, you feel very safe. This is the helm door there. The only teak area on this boat is aft and it is covered by the hard top. So. It is shielded from the sun as much as possible and it's in really, really great condition there. Um, that area would also be great for some deck chairs and table, nice area to sit out. So here we are up at the flybridge. Looking aft, here's the davit and the tender. We just got that new tender cover, cover in a couple days ago, so it's brand new. These beautiful blue settees here, 
Looking forward, there's two Stid Helm seats and an ice maker in a little fridge there. Got this wet bar with a sink as well. Looking forward, this is just duplicated from down below, but there also is uh, the FLIR controls up here on the flybridge. There's also Fusion Stereo Control, which was actually a new addition, I believe, uh, in 2019. This enclosure is nice as well, especially uh, if you do like driving from up above, no matter what the conditions, then this is essential for you. Um, if you do like more of an open flybridge, you can always open up the panels and allow some um, breeze in. So let's head down here and we can get some shots from the dock. So here we are in the engine room of this beautiful 46 Europa. We are currently looking aft and she is powered by twin Yanmar 6CX engines. They have approximately 25, almost 2600 hours on them. Here we are looking forward. Uh, this is the port engine here. And then we'll go over to the starboard side. She is also equipped with NIAB stabilization, an Onan generator, and a Spectra 700 gallon per day water maker. Here is the washer dryer. There's an overhead hatch above with uh, a step ladder to get down below. This is your access from the cockpit into the lazarette space here. And then if you walk forward, that is where the engine room is. There's also an additional lazarette aft that is accessed through a separate hatch in the cockpit. Thank you so much guys for touring this boat with me today. I'll see you again in a video very soon. Bye!